Namaskar. Welcome to Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community. I'm Kala Shankar. The month of November brings Thanksgiving Day for us. Being thankful is a way to accept, acknowledge, and be grateful for all the gifts that we have received. In the present context, the origin of Thanksgiving Day acquires a different meaning. When we're grateful, we're happy, and it has a way of healing as well as purifying us and increasing a sense of love and harmony. Setting the tone of mind to increase awareness about being grateful, indeed, we are grateful to all of you for your support and encouragement. Let us take a look at this week's main stories. We will have reports on Ekal Vidyalaya's Gala in New York, the annual convention of API, a benefit gala for Shani Mandir, a Diwali celebration with friends from the media at the Indian Consulate, the Indian American International Chamber of Commerce's inauguration of its New York chapter at the Indian Consulate, and the Diwali party hosted by the Governor of New Jersey. All this coming up right of these messages. Stay with us. The Ekal Vidyalaya Foundation organized a Future of India Gala at Gotham Hall in Manhattan last Sunday. The gala helped raise $3.1 million to support Ekal's mission for eradicating illiteracy throughout rural and tribal India. Bollywood star Vivek Oberoi was appreciated for his philanthropic outlook at the gala. Entrepreneur Raju Reddy and Ragi Thomas also addressed the gathering. Consul General of India in New York, Sandeep Chakravorty, was also present with many important guests. ITV Gold's chairman, Padma Shri Dr. Sudhir Parikh, has also strongly supported Ekal Vidyalaya and was present for the gala. The Mohan Wanchu family has pledged to contribute $1 million for this noble cause. Aditi Lamba has this report for ITV Gold. You are watching ITV Gold, and I'm your host, Aditi Lama, with cameraman Rajapati. And here we are at the Ekal Vidyalaya Foundation's 2019 Gala here at the Gotham Hall. Ekal is such a big deal tonight. There has been so much work going on. I'm already hearing about the 100,000 schools in the VIP area here. How are you feeling? And you know, when you're talking about ACO, and you're looking back at all the work you're doing as a, as a president here in the New York chapter and you know, giving back to the community, what does this entire foundation truly mean to you? ACO is very close to my heart uh, and my entire family. Uh, we've been associated with ACO for many, many years, uh, close to about, uh, I think, 18 years now. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, the work that Ekal does is, is so unique because these uh, people and these children would never have had the access to education, to health care, uh, to uh, organic farming, uh, to anemia, etc., etc., if Ekal was not there. Yeah. So Ekal provides this tremendous service you know, to these villages and we are in 99,209 villages up until now, very close to the 100,000 mark. And, uh, and we're really excited about this gala that we are having at Gotham Hall tonight. We are expecting people to step up and then donate generously their time, their money, their services. If people want to volunteer, we're looking for volunteers you know, to help. So we're looking for help you know, in every area of ACL and uh, we're hoping that you know, we are going to have a very, very successful event tonight. For the audience to know what's happening with the children, what the changes are happening as well. Sure, sure. So there are two reasons you know, why uh, there are 2 million children, two, well actually it's 2.7 million children that we're teaching annually every year. And the reason for that is because these are villages that are so remote in, into India that uh, they're off the maps you know, of the Indian government. Not, not literally, but uh, they're so difficult to get to that uh, the government apparatus is not you know, there in these villages. Our journey with Ekal started with my father. Uh, he was a pro vice chancellor and uh, uh, struggled all his life uh, to increase and elevate the standard of education in India. 
Um, we are a family of five brothers and sisters, so money was tight, but uh, he fought against all odds and made sure that he rooted out corruption from the Indian education system. A, a change or a success rate you saw among students. Uh, right now, if I ask you that, what comes to your mind? Uh, so there are two programs that you know uh, I've uh, supported all these years. One is the e-shiksha program uh, through tablets, and then the other one is uh, digital ekal, uh, which is ekal on wheels. So through the e-shiksha program through tablets, what we do is we offer computer education to all these uh, children uh, who don't even know what a computer is. So we give them software training on these tablets. Yeah, and then yeah, children, and then it's so and they soak it like a sponge. That's how, you know, that's, that's what the power of education is. And the second thing is Ekal on Wheels, where we take buses that are fitted with computers uh, from village to village, and then we make rounds of uh, 60 villages in a month, and then we, ro we repeat that cycle every single month. So these, these uh, buses go to these villages, and then the villagers come into the bus, and they're giving formal uh, computer education uh, on these computers. So these are the two programs that you know I've been supporting uh, uh, a lot over the years. You know, we are here at by so many people. Mr. Vivek, how are you feeling today? A gala that is truly celebrating millions of children getting education and empowerment. We just talked to the two of them about an amazing, amazing charity. How are you feeling today? I'm on top of the world. I feel amazing. All of New York City is here. So many people have flown in from so many places uh, to support Ekal and the cause that we're raising this this uh, this awareness and money for uh, so many people coming forward to contribute for the education of really the most underprivileged children in India. Yes. Uh, I think this is going to be a spectacular night. How often do you get a chance to actually go out there and change lives? Yes. And I'm so glad that Dr. Parikh's here, my old friend Shabani, with her golden voices here. I'm looking yes. forward to seeing her yes. tonight. And uh, I'm looking up to rustle the room a little bit. I had a little bit of a warm up last night with with some of the VVIPs who are writing the big checks, just pushing them a little bit and inspiring them a little bit. And I hope to do the same tonight. And the incredible thing about this Akal family, and anybody, I mean, everybody who's here definitely knows someone from Akal, so you know how they are. They're so committed. So we ensured that I became a part of this wonderful organization, this wonderful family of 300,000 volunteers and growing. I went in to a few colleges. Kids started gathering around me. They got really excited. Movie star, Mumbai Cobra, here we know you. Autograph, photograph. And I said, hold on guys, I want to talk to you. This has happened. What are we doing? How are we going to contribute? How are we going to help? We took a list from the collector that these are the clothes that I needed, emergency supplies, medicines, little things that make a difference in the time of need. In 48 hours, I had 15,000 students connected, supporting out of the phenomenal city of Chennai. And we had 14 truckloads, 14 truckloads of emergency relief supplies ready in 48 hours. And that is the power of what we can do if we take just one step. One message for all the young Indians watching you, all the ones looking up to you. Wouldn't we love to ask him that? Yeah, I mean, uh, the best thing that I find about young Indians is uh, they're so much more conscious, they're so much more involved, they, they want to see so much more change and they're so much more um, proactive uh, than what I remember things used to be. It used to be so difficult to get people behind you. Yeah. But now I see so many young people saying, hey, that's cool, you know, we'll come out and support you. Yeah. Uh, they might have $100, but they're ready to write $10 out of that for uh, for a good cause. Yeah. And every little contribution, even in thought, even in action or in money, uh, makes a big difference. So, you know, cheers to uh, all the young Indians out there. Thank you for supporting Ekal Vidyala. And if you're not supporting it yet, come on board. It's a big family. You know, we like to keep it growing. We're 300,000 and growing now.
a great organization who works for the uh, children in the tribal area and uh, they are doing absolutely um, a superb job and um, uh, my support, our media support and our publication support is with the Ekal Vidyalai and uh, we wish him, uh, them uh, good luck and uh, uh, good wishes to them from the Parikhalwal Media. Thank you. Support Ekal Vidyalai. It's a great cause and uh, it's a great help to the poorest of the poor in India. Thank you. The New Jersey chapter of the American Association of Physicians of Indian Origin organized its annual gala last Sunday at the Doubletree Hilton in Newark. Here's some highlights from that evening. I'm Dr. Sudhir Parekh and I have with me uh, President of the New Jersey State uh, API, uh, Dr. Binod Sina and uh, uh, Vice Chairman of the Convention, Chairman of the Convention of the uh, API Gala, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, 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 Raj Bayani, who is also uh, National Treasurer of the API. Uh, and uh, really, uh, I must congratulate. Uh, President Binod Sina and uh, uh, Chairman uh, uh, Raj Bayani for the such an excellent gala put together and really revived the api from the ashes like a phoenix. And so uh, we, we all are with you, uh, Dr. Sina and uh, Raj, and uh, we would like to make again the api, uh, glorious api just like we used to have in uh, early uh, 2000, uh, 2001 to 2010. So let's make it and get the, all the chapters together uh, and uh, be part of the large API and make a difference. So uh, uh, again, congratulate, uh, congratulations to Dr. Sina and congratulations to Dr. Bayani. Let's, Vinod, uh, uh, can you say a few words? Uh, thank you, Sudhir. Good friend. He is my family friend. He is a fam friend of the whole community. He has achieved so much. He is most successful, and not as a doctor, but an entrepreneur and a businessman. He has a vision. He has done that. We have to learn from him. And I am very happy that he came and joined today for this gala event. Thank you, Sudhir. You are my good friend. Thank you. Sudhir Bhai is the backbone of Indian society. He has become legend in India, uh, in Indian leader in New Jersey as well as all over the USA. So we're very proud that Sudhir Bhai is a part of our team and with his guidance and his mentorship and with Dr. Vinod Sinha's hard work and his leadership, New Jersey State RP will reach new heights, I have no doubt, with everybody committing to this, to the betterment of the New Jersey State RP. Thank you all. Thank Good you. evening. I'm Dr. Ravi Kohli. I'm the Secretary of RP National. I'm here to attend the New Jersey RP chapter meeting. We have a dynamic CME programs and uh, various other activities going on all over the nation. And New Jersey chapter is doing their gala dinner today. Please come and join. And RP also has a membership drive for $100. Please join RP. Telugu, uh, Telugu Dr. Sandra Kuda, Apila join a Apinis Saktivantan Jayamani Adutanana. Please Dai Chesi, Apila Jaina Vandi. Api is a strong and dynamic force for good. Please join and make it strong. Our, sh our uh, strength is in our numbers, our Sakti is in our Shankya. Please join and make Api a, a grand, uh, successful uh, organization for force for good. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Hi, my name is Dr. Hetal Gore and I'm one of the entertainment chair for New Jersey State RP, which is a New Jersey chapter for National RP. Here we uh, are doing a lot of activities, CME, lectures, gala, and this is one of the best ways to combine a uh, lot of chapters of New Jersey which belong to RP. Um, we are having a special drive for $50. You can join New Jersey State RP. So please visit our website www.newjerseystaterp.com or you can can contact me, Dr. Hetal Gore, and I hope to see you all who are New York, New York and New Jersey members who live in New Jersey. You can always join New Jersey RP. Thank you so much. 
थैंक यू विजय भाई थैंक यू पद्मश्री डॉक्टर सुधीर पारिक फॉर ऑलवेज हेल्पिंग आप ही एंड सपोर्टिंग अस एंड गाइडिंग अस थैंक यू हेलो माय नेम इज डॉक्टर अजय लोढ़ा आई एम द पास प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ नेशनल आप ही टूडे वी हैव गैदर्ड हियर इन डबल ट्री हिल्टन टू सेलिब्रेट द ग्रैंड गाला ऑफ न्यू जर्सी स्टेट आप ही इट इज़ अ ग्रेट मोमेंट फॉर अस इट हैज़ बीन अ वेरी ग्रैंड गैदरिंग ऑर्गेनाइज बाय द प्रेसिडेंट डॉक्टर विनोद सिन्हा हु हैज़ वर्क रियली वेरी वेरी हार्ड टू ऑर्गेनाइज दिस ग्रेट इवेंट एंड आई सी हेयर देर लॉट ऑफ गेस्ट कमिंग फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द कंट्री फ्रॉम नेशनल आपी एवरी लॉट ऑफ प्रोमिनेंट लीडर्स फ्रॉम नेशनल आपी आर हेयर आपी ट्रेजरर आपी सेक्रेटरी चेयरमैन बोर्ड ऑफ ट्रस्टीज बिकॉज यू नो we have lot of respect for dr vinod sinha and uh, the cause of this function is a very great cause for the charitable reasons and uh, i am very proud and honor to be part of this great event you are watching vision of asia voice of the community this program brings community coverage in special interviews every monday to thursday at 8 pm and we have a special weekly edition of vision of asia every sunday at 11 am Your encouraging response is our strength. Keep writing to us. Stay with us for a short break. Vision of Asia continues right after these messages. Shri Navagraha Devasan of North America organized a gala benefit luncheon last Sunday at Leonard's Palazzo in Great Neck, Long Island. ITV Gold's chairman, Dr. Sudhir Parekh, was a chief guest for the evening, along with Assembly member Michelle C. Solage. Political representatives Kevin Thomas and John Liu were also present on this cultural and inspiring evening. Shri Dr. Shanmugam shared the vision behind Shani Mandir and its significance. South Indian cine fame Divya Unni presented classical dance. Well-known spiritual astrologer from India Mr. N Baumik spoke about astrology in planning one's life. Here's some glimpses of the special benefit gala. <laughs> Namaste Jai Shri Shani Deva my name is Shri Dashal Mugam I'm one of the founders of Shri Navagraha Devasthanam and our mission is to have nine temples in nine cities around the world or I mean around uh, United States of America and this is the first concept in the world outside India and we have initiated the Sri Sarva Mangala Sri Sanishwara temple which is the first Shani temple of the world outside India so it's very auspicious that all of us who are born on this earth are being like you know lined up with a date of birth a time of birth and a place of birth where you can do your charts and then see where we are heading to and our concept is a temple is not like a temp space where you come for just worship but it's got such beautiful magnitude outside all this that it helps uh, everybody a young child to a growing child to a young adult to a young family to a grown up family to a seniors everybody should get the cherish uh results out of the temple and that's what our ambitions we run balavikas program for children we have yuva kendra for uh young adults we have senior citizen program for seniors and then family networking program for kids business network is also happening in the temple where people of similar faith come together and do what they have to do and also pe people of various faiths come together to understand at our interfaith program today we had special interfaith uh, doctors and people come from various organizations for our support so i would like you all to come to the temple it's in the very infant stage it's like still the space is yet to be renovated and we are waiting for the permits but hopefully with the support you have we'll have a lovely temple which is, should be coming up thank you so much and thanks to all our chief guests and celebrities for this thank you and pranams to everybody jai shri shani deva the why shani temple uh, you know congressman in our hindu uh, tradition or hindu belief we believe in the vedas and uh, you know sometime we see in day to day life 
There are some people are very successful, some are working hard but not successful. And then what is there, what's that mystery about? And the answer is in the Vedas. And the Veda says that if your star aligns, then of course, even if you don't work hard, you can be a successful. And where we can find those kind of star to uh, pray or star to uh, 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 do the puja to or, or uh, do some uh, uh, request to, that that's a real center is a sunny temple. So this is a, a great venue for our second generation to connect where, where we're coming from, our culture, our heritage, and our uh, belief uh, in the, uh, our religion. Uh, uh, this kind of temple should be promoted, should be encouraged, and we all should support them. And uh, uh, Rupaji and Sridharji, uh, you can always count on uh, my media support from Parikh Valwar Media and ITV Gold. This is your platform. Please use it the way you want to. And uh, you can always count on me personally. And really, I would like to congratulate you and wish you all the success. Thank you. But I know that this is a wonderful day. I'm going to be very brief and just say, I'm a first generation American. My father was born in Italy. And my father uh, always said, what a great country this was. But my grandfather used to give a speech at the family weddings. And he would give advice to the new couples. And he'd say, che cosa matrimonio? He'd say, what is this thing, marriage? They said, marriage is like a long journey with a lot of ups and a lot of downs. But that's OK, because in life, non ce sono rose senza spine. You can't have a rose without the thorns. You can't have the good things in life without the suffering as well. You couldn't appreciate the good things in life unless you had the suffering as well. And every day we see the bad things in the world. We see it in the newspaper. We see it on television. We see it in our country, in the world. We see it in our neighborhoods. Sometimes it happens in our families we have suffering. Whether someone's sick or someone's lost their job or someone's getting in a fight with somebody. We've all been through the suffering of life. But today, we're celebrating the roses of life, the best part of life, when friends and family and community members come together to celebrate a wonderful temple that everybody's celebrating together uh, and trying to lift up examples of good people trying to make the world a better place to live in. So congratulations on this wonderful day, Mubarak, and I'm very happy to join all of you. Thank you very much. Friends, family, it's just a pleasure to be with you. I am so humbled to be amongst the honored guests, and I thank the temple and all of you for giving me this great delight to be able to celebrate a Sunday afternoon with you. Um, it's amazing to know that there is a community such as yours growing and doing so many influential things, whether it's healthcare, whether it's um, advocating for peace and wellness for all, your community is just growing and becoming great. So please give yourselves a round of applause and thank you for your future endeavors. I'm gonna be short and sweet because I wanna hear some more kids sing as well as I want to enjoy some of the food, wonderful food over there. But I just want to thank you. Um, thank you so much for being here in our community. I want to thank you for always uh, reaching out to myself, uh, whether the, the issues that you have, you're always willing to come and talk to me and advocate on those levels. That's why with Kevin Thomas, we submitted a bill to make Diwali official holiday in New York State. It's something that we need to do as a community and we need to do it united together. Inclusive diversity makes the pot better. And we're in New York State, which is you know, the melting pot of our, our, of our country, of our world. And so I thank you for what you do again. And really, please, I'm so humbled to be here and I look forward to working with so many other initiatives with you here. Have a great afternoon and many pieces and many blessings. We are very keen in having this special program done mainly to felicitate you all to, into the realm of spirituality. What is happening today? We are in the world of running around, various things doing. Like, we are just scattering ourselves all over the place. But can we at some point focus and bring our focus into something very firm, very focused, very detailed, and that's where we are. Take one passion of yours, which is very special to you, and let us focus on that. And that's where a temple is really coming forward to support that. Please, please, please support the temple. Open your wallets. Take out your checkbooks. 
support us. I'm just asking you, just open, support us. And I have people who have supported so far, but others, come forward. Supporting is not only, again, wallets and checkbooks, but also, like, you know, propagating a concept. Volunteer your time, volunteer material, volunteer the publicity, talk to people, talk to everybody about this. This is not yet another Ganesha temple, or it's not another Rama temple, or not another Sai Baba temple. The only Shani temple in the world. But thanks to each and every one of you over here. The Consul General of India, Sandeep Chakravorty, played host for media friends to mark Diwali on Monday, November 11th. This was a very special evening for the media fraternity to mingle without focusing on reporting and capturing the proceedings. The idea of Diwali is rooted in increasing harmony to understanding. The warmth and openness of the concept helps media members in serving the community in an efficient manner. Here's some highlights from that evening. देखिए आज हम लोगों ने यहाँ दिवाली कम थैंक्सगिविंग मनाया हमारे मीडिया पार्टनर्स के लिए मीडिया फ्रेंड्स के लिए जो हमारे को मदद करते हैं हमारे काम को पूरा करने के लिए सो ए वेरी स्पेशल ओकेजन टुडे इन द कॉन्सुलेट एंड दिवाली इज़ ए स्पेशल ओकेजन बिकॉज इट कनेक्ट्स इंडिया एंड द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स दिवाली बहुत धूमधाम से यू uh, में मनाई जा रही है मेयर के घर में मनाई गई वाइट हाउस में मनाई गई गवर्नर के घर में मनाई गई तो दिवाली तो अब लगता है कि अमेरिकी फेस्टिवल हो गई है और सबसे खूबसूरत खुँ, बात यह है कि दिवाली यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स में महीना भर चलता है आज हम 11 नवंबर तक पहुंच गए हैं अभी भी दिवाली मना रहे हैं तो ये बड़ी अच्छी बात है और यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स की यही मज़ा है कि कोई भी हमारे त्यौहार हैं वो धूमधाम से मनाते हैं लेकिन कई दिनों तक मनाते रहते हैं और ये सबसे बड़ी बात है Today we have gathered at the consulate to celebrate Diwali once more. We are here with our friends, especially from the media. People ha are having a good time. Uh, this is an effort to uh, bring peace and prosperity uh, in our lives, which are, which are uh, sometimes uh, stressed. Uh, I, I hope that everyone here is enjoying the evening. Uh, I wish the viewers of uh, ITV Gold a happy Diwali once more. Thank you. here at the consulate to uh, celebrate uh, uh, Diwali for the media and apart from the media there are certain people here who have been especially invited to the event uh, including uh, some friends from PMI. Uh, it's a great evening here uh, with a lot of entertainment, good food. It's a great initiative for which I must congratulate Mr. Chakravarti. Today we are at the Indian consulate celebrating Diwali. Um, uh, for me, Diwali has uh, uh, more meaning than uh, just a Diwali because uh, it relates to Diwali stamp, which took us many, many years. Uh, it personally took me seven years to get the Diwali stamp issued. And, uh, and once it was approved, I was asked if I still thought that Diwali cell would be a big seller. And I, I said, yes, this. This will break all records, and sure enough, in 10 days, 
I was able to sell 170,000 stamps, which made the largest sale of any stamp in the U.S. history for day one. So, so Diwali uh, is uh, um, uh, has uh, more meaning for Indians today than uh, with the Diwali stamp. So, I'm hoping uh, generations to come will will learn about it. Follow ITV Gold's Facebook page. Write to us with details of events to events at itvgold.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch our shows at your convenience. It's time for a short break. Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community will return with more news stories. Please stay right where you are. The Indian American International Chamber of Commerce inaugurated its New York chapter with an event organized at the Indian Consulate. One of the highlights of this evening was the presence of Ajit Pai, the chairman of the Federal Communications Commission, as keynote speaker. Manoj Mohapatra, Indian Minister of Commerce in Washington, D.C., and Deputy Consul General Shatugna Sinha also addressed the gathering. While introducing the FCC, Chairman of ITV Gold, Padma Shri Dr. Sudhir Parikh also spoke about the growing influence of the Indian American community. IAICC Chairman K.V. Kumar shared the vision of this organization. Here's a report by Ashok Vyas. Great to be uh, with FCC Chairman Ajit Paiji. You are a role model for Indian American community. And before I talk about your role as FCC Chairman, talk to me uh, being an Indian American and uh, serving under President Obama and under President Trump now, how that makes you feel? It makes me feel very gratified uh, that the American experiment has been so successful for the Indian American community. My parents came here in 1971 with $8, a transistor radio, and a belief in the American dream. And it's very gratifying to know that just one generation later, their son has been tapped by the President of the United States, two presidents actually, uh, to have these important responsibilities. So for me, uh, it gives me two basic charges. Number one, to do my job as best I can, and number two, uh, to in tell in, in, in Indian kids who are growing up now, the sky is a limit in this country. Don't let your horizon be limited by who you are or where you happen to live or what you happen to look like. You can achieve whatever you want, and I hope that's the message that my service in uh, public office will show. Absolutely. One last question uh, because of the time paucity, and allow me to introduce uh, Padma Shri Dr. Sudhir Parikh, who is uh, chairman of uh, ITV Gold as well as Parikh Worldwide Media. And coming from media to you, uh, you yesterday addressed Council on Foreign Relations, which is unprecedented, I think, but these times are uh, special times. So talk to me from that point of view, the cooperation between US and India as far as technology exchange-related trust is concerned. Obviously, the United States and India are very close and enduring allies, and I think when it comes to the communications networks, that is certainly the case. I've had the privilege to meet many ministers and secretaries in India, in the Indian government, and one of the things I've pointed out to them is that we have common interests, especially when it comes to things like security and 5G. We want to make sure that our communications networks are secure, and I've been working very closely with the government, uh, to, uh, both governments, uh, to make sure that uh, we are on the same page going forward. We want our citizens to benefit from the digital revolution, but we also want those networks to be safe. So this last question, and I know he's almost pressing the time. So just because China, you mentioned, yeah. is not acting in ethical fashion. Uh, how is India's position and India's capacity to protect itself? I think what I've emphasized to the Indian government is that our interests are very much aligned. We don't want to have untrusted vendors supplying equipment or services into our networks. And whether it is uh, in Mumbai or in Washington, D.C., we want to make sure that those networks are, are, are composed of uh, parts that are very uh, trusted. And to the extent that Chinese vendors are subject to China's national intelligence law, that gives me some concern that in law requires Chinese Chinese companies to comply with requests from the Chinese intelligence services. And there are two particular companies, Huawei and ZTE, that have shown in the United States and around the world that there are some issues there when it comes to security of their products. And so we want to make sure that every country in the world, especially a trusted ally like India, uh, evaluates these uh, services coming into their country using a risk-based framework. Namaskar, I'm Ashok Vyaz and I'm here at uh, the Indian Consulate. A very important uh, inauguration uh, is happening. And I have the presence of Dr. Sudhi Parikhji as well as uh, Kumar Sab. Kumar Sab, I would like you to say something about the significance of today's event and the role that Padmasri Dr. Sudhir Parikh is going to play for this organization. 
Dr. Parikh is the key. He is in the key position to say what he is going to say. But let me tell you something about it. He is, he is a man of dignity and honor. We are pleased to have him. He is on the board of trustees. He chairs the board of trustees for the chamber. And he is a great supporter of chamber. So talk to us about uh, what made you take active part in for this chamber. Uh, this uh, the my involvement in this chamber because uh, I, I believe that uh, we have to have some platform where we can uh, take uh, 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 that uh, business people and professional from here to India, and we are planning one uh, uh, conclave uh, in in uh, Delhi soon uh, in the coming uh, winter. Uh, where uh, we can uh, take uh, so certain uh, expertise and some businessmen and even uh, uh, senator and congressman if possible to India and uh, uh, probably uh, government of India is looking for that and uh, uh, I'm sure that uh, we'll get the great support from our Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, and his uh, administration. Uh, I'm involved because uh, I, I know uh, Dr. Parikh for almost 30 years as well as uh, Kumar the things they have undertaken to build this Chamber of Commerce, uh, Indo-American Chamber of Commerce, and the, uh, the relationship uh, we are going to build in the coming years and the months is a great uh, success for the Indian origin from here to go back and develop the relationship, uh, trade, and uh, number of business initiatives, which is not only going to help uh, for uh, US as well as India. Bank of Bolda being a public sector bank, our focus has been the India-US uh, trade corridor. And uh, this uh, Indian-American International Chamber of Commerce also focuses on that. Uh, that is how I think we can be a, a complement to each other to improve the trade, which is expected to touch maybe more than 5 billion in the next uh, two yes. years. Um, you know, the our chamber is established uh, about 30 years ago, although in a different name. And uh, we are excited today to have this uh, forum here. Thank you for uh, hosting this great event, and thank you for the opportunity. We certainly look forward to some great work uh, you know, with the Chamber of Commerce. And nice to meet all of you. Today, uh, we have a new partner in, in, in New York. The Indian American International Chamber of Commerce has its Northeast New York Regional Chapter uh, opening today. Uh, from the Consulate General of India, we always uh, uh, try to engage with uh, different chambers of commerce, business associations. Although Indian American International Chamber of Commerce has been in existence for about 30 years in another name. It did not have a strong national or international presence until this year. That does not mean that the chamber has not done anything of national significance to Asian Indian business community. To name a few, the chamber was responsible for opening the doors of various federal and state government agencies to Indian American business community to take advantage of their programs. You may have seen Howdy Modi. Our Prime Minister was welcomed by more than 50,000 people, Indian Americans and Americans in this country, where, which attracted the Honorable President Trump to be there because the 50,000 people's attention that one could not avoid to have. So that is why it was a joint event and the, it was a unique, it was a history in the sense that Hardly anywhere there was a joint session. In fact, when I started from here, the Madison Square Garden event, we never thought that there would be a joint program. In three years or four years, 2014 or 2019, in five years, we could get Honorable President to that platform. That is the achievement. That is possible because of the Indian Americans. Currently, we are committed to buy 18 billion worth of defense equipments. If you look at the, kind of the, the sectors, that is air sectors, we are committed that we would be buying 38 billion worth of aircrafts in the next five years. But I would like to say that we, we are going to go one step forward in upcoming sc springtime. We're going to have a summit in Delhi uh, between the uh, 
uh, organization like FICI or uh, CIA, and uh, this uh, our 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 chapter, our commerce uh, um, uh, chamber of commerce. And again, we, we're going to have another summit in fall here in USA, and that's only way to really uh, make it uh, more uh, 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 realistic, more important, and more productive. Well, let's uh, let's welcome uh, a proud second generation chairman, Amit Pai. I also want to thank uh, K.V. Kumar and uh, everyone at the chamber for asking me to be a part of this special occasion. And I particularly want to salute K.V. for his leadership on a variety of issues. Uh, of, of course, IAICC, but also issues like brain injury treatment. He's very much been uh, a leader in a very uh, a great number of uh, issues. Uh, congratulations also on the launch of the New York Regional Office. I'd also like to thank the uh, Chamber for uh, being at this work for 30 years. This is the 30-year anniversary, which you celebrated in September. It has truly been an incredible 30 years when you think about it. It's sometimes hard to remember how different things were back in 1989. But for perspective, uh, 30 years ago, there were something like 800,000 Indian Americans here in the United States. It was quite rare to see Indian Americans in public office or on the television screen or anywhere else in public life. I am very delighted on behalf of Dr. Butlapur and Apanmanan and Dr. Sudhir Parik to announce that Mike Narula has agreed to be the president of the, the Northeastern region. Want to say a couple of words? Thank you. It is definitely an honor, you know, to be um, granted, you know, this great position and uh, looking forward to working with all of you. Sir, it has been a great pleasure and honor to have you here. And we respect you and we welcome you. And you have no limits for growth. Thank you <laughs> Thank very much you. for having us. Thank you so here. much. Thank you. The honor is mine. Thank you. Thank you. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy also hosted an evening to mark the Festival of Light Diwali. Attorney General Gurber Grewal said that this event reminds us to continue to fight for social justice. It was a graceful event with Indian cultural dance, Indian cuisine, and community members appreciated this gesture of the governors to recognize an important festival rooted in Indian culture with a universal message of hope. Here are some highlights. We're here at Drum Thwacket and we just hosted the Governor's Diwali celebration. It's a time where we are remembering the victory of good over evil, light over darkness, and it's a time that reminds us to continue fighting as hard as we can for social justice in this state and everywhere else. Thank you. Just very briefly, we, we are thrilled to have you. Uh, and this speaks volumes about who we are as a state. And I love the notion of it takes a village, love and justice. Those are words that I think we could all take. And we, we talk all the time. I just recently on the campaign trail, we were talking about it takes a village. No matter how good any one of us is, we can't get there by ourselves. And so that's why we need legislators who are outstanding, great cabinet members, community leaders, uh, elected officials up and down, uh, uh, faith leaders, whatever it might be. We get there better, stronger, probably faster if we do it together. And needless to say, all we need is love. There's no question about that. And your comments about justice touched me deeply. You know the phrase, the melting pot? Yes. Yes. So I used to be on the board of the NAACP. Uh, which is the nation's oldest, I think the world's oldest civil rights organization. And I learned, this is many, many years ago, and it was out of anger actually, but I think it's very apt that, that um, Reverend Jesse Jackson pushed back on the notion of a melting pot because his point was that that implies that we all get smushed in together. And he said there's got to be a better way. And he came up with, which I think is the great analogy of that, that pot of vegetable stew that simmers on the stove. 
in the sense that it tastes incredibly harmonious together, but the carrots taste like damn carrots and the potatoes taste like darn potatoes. And that's who we are as a state and who we should be as a country, that we are harmoniously together, the nine million of us who call this great state our home, but we also at the same time are proud of and we retain our community's identity. And I think that's a great balance and there's no community that speaks to that more so than the Indian community. We just had a lovely celebration. I wanna wish everyone a happy Diwali, happy new year. And hopefully this, this year brings as much light and celebration as possible for everyone. Uh, hope you have a great rest of your year. I'd like to wish everybody out there a happy Diwali and to those who celebrate the New Year, Sal Mubarak. We are fortunate enough to celebrate with the community at Drumf Wackett, which is the governor's mansion of New Jersey. It is delightful how the governor and the first lady opened their home to everyone, and it's a wonderful way to celebrate our holiday and have our community recognized. One of the things I think about when we're celebrating Diwali and the Ramayana is the notion that um, today nobody goes at it alone in our success, right? You're not doing it by yourself. You have a lot of help, right, Governor? A lot of help, a lot of help. And that's there, right there in the Ramayana, right? Rama was exiled to the forest, but he didn't go by himself. Lakshman, his brother, was with him. And Sita, the love of his life, was with him. Remember, this is the story I'm telling my little one, okay? So that's really important. And then when Sita was kidnapped and taken to present-day Sri Lanka, he didn't find Sita on his own. Hanuman helped him, right? Hanuman helped him. So he was never alone. And even in exile, even in exile, he was not alone. He had the, I would say, say together, the, the creatures in the forest, the birds and the animals and everyone. So that's one learning that I think is really, really important for us to remember that no one succeeds on their own. But what was really important was seeing Governor Murphy talk about how important the South Asian community, the Indian community is to our beautiful state of New Jersey. So I'm wishing everyone a happy Diwali tonight. It's a very big day. It's very um, exciting that the governor opened his house. And the message that he made today was that regardless of our backgrounds, we're all here for the same thing. We're here to share peace and love, and that's part of the spirit of Diwali. So thank you so much, and have a great Diwali. It's an honor to be at the uh, governor's mansion celebrating Diwali. It's, um, uh, it's a great honor, and I want to wish each and every one of you from the South Asian community happy Diwali, and thank you for having us here, and governor did a great, great job. Thank you all, and may God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. I want to wish a happy Diwali and a happy new year First and foremost, to my residents in the city of Passaic, and I also want to thank the governor for hosting the Wali celebration in Drumthwacket. It's an honor, and it shows the sign of his inclusivity, celebrating diversity, celebrating all of the diverse communities that make up our great state. And happy Diwali, happy new year to all of those that are celebrating. Thank you. Hello, I'm Councilman Sam Joshi. I'm uh, obviously I come from Edison, New Jersey. I'm so proud to be here right now at the governor's mansion. Uh, governor Murphy is a terrific governor that embraces diversity and embraces our culture so much. It is terrific to be a part of the Democratic Party and the Democratic organization. We won so big last night, and to be celebrating the governor's house is terrific. Happy Diwali, Salma. That is all the time we have for today's Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community. Do become friends on ITV Gold's Facebook page and write to us about events at events at itvgold.com. To watch our shows at your leisure, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do join us next Sunday for another edition of Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community, only on ITV Gold at 11 a.m. Until we meet again, have a pleasant week ahead. I'm Kala Shankar. Namaste.